Good morning. It is 5.22. We've, I've been up for almost an hour. We're just packing up. I had cold pizza for breakfast. That'll power me up the hill. Doug's packing his toilet paper. <laughs> for the pizza. <laughs> Do you, do you want a spoon? Vince is eating yogurt with his finger. <laughs> <laughs> and you're wandering around with what? Just wandering around. Wandering around. Okay, cool. Amos. Awesome. We're getting picked up, yeah, in about 40 minutes. Our ride is here. Only three bags fit in the trunk, so this one's going across everyone's lap in the back. Our bags are heavy. Six days of water, six liters. Six days of food, six liters of water. Just got to the trailhead. It is windy. A little chilly, but... It's gonna warm up later. There's some water here. We've got enough though. Up we go. Looks like the trail follows the highway for a while. We were the first ones to sign the trail register this morning. I imagine there'll be quite a few people coming soon. There's a bus that comes out here at like 8.30. A lot of people take the bus, but we were lucky enough to find a ride that would pick us up early. Just trying to beat the heat a little bit today. She's a windy one today, but that keeps the heat down. Lots of windmills and Joshua trees. And climbing. I think my pack is sitting between 40 and 45 pounds right now and I can feel it going up these hills. It slowed me down. I had to loosen off my shoulder straps so my hips take more of the weight and I can breathe a bit better. up some switchbacks. Our bags are heavy. We're moving slow. Thank God for switchbacks though. That's a highway way down there. We still have another mile of uphill to go. Whew. It's a leg burner. Calf burner. Pretty nice spot to take a break if I don't say so myself. Sheltered from a little bit of the wind. We've already gone over six miles. We only have ten left to go for the day. Yeah. <laughs> and it's only ten o'clock. Almost at ten by ten. <laughs> no, short by like three and a half. <laughs> Made it to the top of the climb. Well, the first climb, we still have like a 300 foot and maybe like a 700 liter. But that was the big climb. Done for the day. It's not quite as windy up here. Here's a little, cute little campsite. We continue on. It's kind of a cool little path through here. Out of the sand for a little bit. Lots of trees and flowers. <clears throat> Probably have eight miles left for the day now. We're doing good. Just stopped for some lunch. We've got 6.9 left for the day after this. I'm having a uh, beef stick of some sort and some cheese crackers and then I've got a little bit of Funyuns left might have a bar after that um, we have these these kids I call them kids they're probably like early 20s and they keep walking by hi how are you nice to see you see you on trail we're like they leave we go no no we won't because <laughs> they're so fast it's like what's your trail name where are you from it's like why <laughs> I appreciate it but I'll never see you again <laughs> so anyways um yeah it's been a good morning we're just sitting in the shade and enjoying lunch Vince 10 had, miles down already yeah Vince had some tuna and now he's having some nuts and seeds mm -hmm. yeah Captain and Backsplash, or Princess as he wants to be called, or is they're up there somewhere. We had our morning break point one. I stopped point one before we met up with them, and I'm not sure where they're stopping for lunch or if they will. Sometimes they just push through, so yeah. It's our view for lunch. This is a campsite, apparently. We just want a little bit of shade and flat spot to sit. The wind has died down a bit now that we're not in the exposed ridge areas. Getting really close to the wind turbines. Doing our last substantial climb of the afternoon. Just about 900 feet. Of course it's, you know, 2.30. Vince is struggling in the heat today for some reason. Usually it's me, but 
just enough of a breeze to keep me going. But he's not feeling so hot. We've stopped a few times in the shade. We're maybe three and a half miles from our camp for the night. Yeah, poor guy. I know how that feels. There's supposed to be a camp at the top here, but we need to push onto the water source. But I think I'm gonna blister on my toe, so I'm gonna stop and look at that or at least shake the dirt out of my sock. It's 4.30, it's about a mile left to the water source. It said there's limited camping there and there was quite a few people we saw on trail today, so really hoping they got there early, got water moved on. But if they didn't, not sure what we're gonna do. I'm getting hungry. Vince is about half a mile back. He's feeling really tired. So yeah, just pushing on for the last little bit of the day here. Found the boys. This is where we're gonna be camping, placeholder for the tent. Now I'm gonna go get some water. Just filled up about four liters of water so Vince doesn't have to get any when he gets here. There's a spring over there. There's frogs that live in it, but whatever. We'll filter it. The, the spring is dripping very, very slowly. So you could use a spring, but I just use the trough and just kind of move the crap out of the way. Water's water. Oh, so for the day we hiked almost 27 kilometers and almost 17 miles. So great uh, distance to break in a new pair of shoes, <laughs> but they did all right. My feet are feeling pretty good. So I've just set up all my camp stuff for the night. Vince is just doing his right now. Um, and then I'm going to make some dinner. I don't know what I want to make tonight. I might have a mountain house or I might have some mashed potatoes. Some spaghetti. Yeah, I thought about having spaghetti. Um, I don't know though. I got to wait a little bit. I can never eat as soon as I finish hiking. I got to wait to get hungry. I know it sounds dumb, but it's 10 to 6. Um, yeah, it was a good day. Um, Vince didn't have such a great day. He was feeling kind of gross this afternoon tired and upset stomach and captain was feeling kind of tired too he had a nap when he got to camp apparently um i felt really good i had a really i felt really strong today um, we had two big climbs the second one was tiring but um i felt i felt good through a lot of it so that is my gratefulness for the day is um the rest day seemed to really help me and my feet i still got a little blister but i think it was residual from my old shoes that was building and i just had to pop it again so yeah that's it for today